Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterion Racer. Today we're going to pick up, go over what I picked up from the All Car Weekends. That's the biggest show up in Denver, the Rocky Mountains, over 400 tables. It's the big dog of the year. I was going in for some, a couple cars specifically. You know, 1948 Leaf Warren Spawn, um, and I couldn't even find one. But let's go over the pickup. So, Best day, best deal of the show. This guy at the far corner had a bunch of stuff, and I was asking for how much, and we'll go over how much later. So, you know, I'm, oh, I didn't even see this. Special Don Ross enclosed card. Huh. Individually numbered. I don't know if this has ever been out of the paper. My Piazza. This was just part of the throw-in. We got 30 out of 10,000. Nice Diamond Kings card. Um, packs, just random boxes you had of, I didn't even go through this, I just snagged it, 94 Donruss, got some 89 Donruss right there, and we got a box, a partial box of 93 Series 1, almost full here, just wait till I tell you this price here, a Mosa box of 90 school, uh, 90 Fleer, and we had a, a full box of Don, 90 Donruss. I asked him how much for all the wax, see if we can bundle a deal. He goes, I went Sunday, yesterday, the last day of the show, and he goes free. I'm like, you got to be effing kidding me. He's like, just get it off my table. I, I was just like, can I buy you, uh, you know, something from the food truck? He's like, no, nope, no, nope, just, just take them. I don't have to take them home. So we got a f ton of free wax. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. I'm the kind of the guy, you know, who uh, doesn't feel right with that, you know. I mean, this is a good chunk of wax for my wax collection. He yeah, had new with tag in my size. Nice fitted Fleer hat, flex fit. Uh, he's like, how much for that? He's like, free. Just take it. I'm just like, this is insane. I threw 20 bucks on the table. I'm like, here's for the hat. And I will wear the hat. I'm a medium. This is a small medium. I think with large, extra large, and the flex fix, they uh, uh, they fit great for about two weeks, and then they um, don't fit. <laughs> and um, so I didn't find, uh, you know, I was kind of particular with the big cars I was finding. I didn't find a whole lot of that. Where the hell did those go? We'll go over the individual cars, and then we'll go over the next uh, we got $5. So I'm in the search for the Eddie Matthews of this car. This is the Redman. Um, they have a little tab down below that usually gets taken off, but it increases. If you have the tab, it, you know, it increases the value of 50%, but they didn't, I didn't find a single, um, one of that, but for five bucks, I can't even pay for shipping anymore for that. For Adele Crandall, as you, some of you guys know, I'm a Milwaukee Braves collector. I think he has a second or third, Del Crano's the second or third most starts in an all-star game by any catcher. I mean, he should be in the Hall of Fame. His defense is rocket for an arm and decent here. Uh, for five bucks, I'll take that off my hand. Um, I don't have this Star Trek three pack. Um, has Sp uh, the search for Spock. 84, yeah, 84 from FTCC. So it's a nice little addition to my, oh, you saw that. Uh, card collection. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, not a lot of non-sports there. Tons of Pokemon, lots of magic, but not none of that. So Steve Rodemacher has one of these, and even before he showed you his, I've been looking for one of these bad boys at a reasonable price. These are kind of all over the place, um, price-wise. I'm going to have to sneeze here. <laughs> yes, I know I sneeze like a little child. Um, anyways, um, 1940s. Wizard Oz, Torthy, uh, in Toto, on the Yellow Brick Road. It's the white box up here. That, that does um, come in a thing. Uh, you know, this guy, I've seen it um, all, car we um, all car weekend for the last couple of years. Um, so, I uh, picked this bad boy up, 40 bucks. Uh, it's one of the four cars with Toto, and only with Toto and Dorothy on there. These go for a d decent amount of money, but, you know... Two years ago, these were selling for 80 bucks in a PSA 4. I don't know what makes it a PSA 4 because there's no edge damage. This is just a beautiful, crisp card from 1940. Back is good. Um, I couldn't get an eighth of the same card for, you know, four times as much. But I, I couldn't tell barely the difference. So I buy the card. 
not necessarily the grave, but I do like PSA holders. <laughs> you know, I, I really do. But a great addition to my non-sport collection. Vintage, 1940. Think about that. 70-some years old. I finally picked one of these bad boys up. Um, that's kind of it for with cards. Um, I picked up, then I bundled at the end of the show, a uh, deal for wax. Um, we got uh, some stuff I don't have. 1990 Upper Deck, Factory Seal. The dreaded 1988 in the cello and We got a 87 Tops cello. I love my 87 Tops. It was the, really what I mass produced. I, you know, pieced it together. I thought it was a box like this. I just realized that it's actually... I thought it was just a top. I was buying it as a broken up box, to be honest with you. Um, anyways, I'll fold it up later. And with the original 69 cents on there, we got that box. So we got all that. I'm running out of space here. And also, I don't have I've, uh, any more a 1990 uh, um, tops box. Uh, no name on front. Um People have been complaining, maybe because John Jabs has increased the price on these bad boys. Um, he was saying he was having a hard time finding these for 60 bucks. So, we, we got the 87. We got a couple boxes, uh, nine, a 90 and an 88 box. I offered them um, $110. So, whatever that comes out to, that I, I thought that was a killer deal. You know, so... Picks up some wax, some sealed wax that I don't have. You can tell the 87 can't be tampered with due to the fact it's in cello. We got one of my uh, PC guys, Dale Swaim. I caught one of his foul balls. And well, I talked about that last one. A couple brewers right there on top. And so I didn't even go through it. You know, see if there's anybody key on top. I'm just in for it for the wax. So that was a kind of great addition. We got a bunch of wax for free. We got some more wax at, you know, very low prices. They didn't have a lot of wax there. So I was um, just scooping up what, what, what I could. Let's just take a look at some of these wax that I, I did pick up for free. Uh, 89 Donruss, great design. We got the Hawk, Cardin Lansford. Oh, good old Tom. Too bad about him. Dave Schmidt, Keith Atherton, Jim Clancy. Oh, nice little grace we got going right there. Will the Thrill Clark. Gotta love him. So, you know, we got some solid players right away in the first pack. You know, if you count Lance Parrish. You know, very solid baseball player. Very solid catcher. Catchers are very underrated. I'll be honest. Uh, maybe I'm biased. I was a uh, <coughs> catcher. Through my baseball career, it's probably the most athletic catcher. Holy Nikes. Let me see if I can open this bad boy. Um, but I figured I didn't have the arm to play a pitcher, and I wanted to touch the darn ball every single play. There we go. So that's that was my logic as a kid. You know what I mean? Let's be in on the play, every single play of the base. You know, baseball game. See it from from behind plate. So, I did do a touch of pitching horribly, but, you know. And then when I got to high school, my arm, you know, was lacking, let's just say. So, they sucked me more out in right field. We got Sean Green, my nemesis. He um, produced one of the best um, batting games ever over at Miller Park. I was at that game. I was the reason he um, was... Uh, had such a great game. He ended up with two home runs, a triple, a single, or three home runs. It was something ridiculous. So I'll give you the story behind that with Sean Green. We were out in right field bleachers. We were drinking a little bit too much. I was with this girl. And at the time, he wasn't even hitting the Mendoza line. And I was just feeding her stuff to, you know, hackle him with. And he just went off and went off and off. we got heckling him. And by the you know by the end of the game, we were giving a standing ovation. But he he turned to us, pointed, and you know I felt like crap. Um, that taught me never to heckle again. I usually never heckled. I just thought it was a fun way to impress this girl. You know, get under her skin, bring it up. How he was hitting at you know less than two hundred. 
all this other stuff. As a baseball junkie, I knew, you know, all about him. So, <laughs> you know, that taught me never to um, heckle. This is 94. So I, I, I just, I found girls. I found um, music. Basically, I spent my money on music instead of baseball cards right around 94. And I don't open, I didn't ever open any of these 94 donors. So this is kind of actually a first. Good old Tom Candiotti. Thanks for putting up with my my story here. But, yeah, I believe my direct co- of me heckling Sean Green out in the out in right field, if my memory is right, it's been a while, um, Brad Holdman produced one of the best offensive games in history. Just even Google, you know, best games ever, you know, and you don't think you have to even go to Sean Green. Ooh, look at that sparkly car of Brian Harvey. Pitching for the Marlins. Gotta love that. Bear, you know, there's a little stick together, but who cares? For free? <laughs> Baseball cards sealed? Free? You know, I, I just kind of grabbed. He had sets he said I could take. That's not me. I'm, as you see, the, car, the cards behind me, I'm a wax guy. He's just going to get the stuff off my table. Get it gone. Um, but, you know, I, I told him it's going to go to a good home. I'm not reselling it. This is just for my own PC. I'm not a reseller but uh yeah so I'll, I'll i'll take that for you know all that stuff for free um it was fun walking around looking at the vintage uh you know i i i had that 48 warren spawn you know i checked every single table i saw one bowman i already had the 48 bowman so uh well i got some packs next to me while i'm just rambling on yeah, they had some beautiful cars there. Wow, I'm knocking crap all over the place today. My table's, card table is kind of overflowing. It's not that sturdy to begin with, let's be honest. Any of my production's not. Um, you know, they, they had this beautiful uh, Hank Aaron rookie card. Uh, I didn't even want to negotiate. I looked at it. Uh, it was It's one of those PC, you know, dream, ultimate dream cards. Uh, I shouldn't spend the money and I didn't on it, but it was a good enough price at the starting point without negotiation where Willie Randolph, Dwight Smith, big fan of him back in the day, even though he was a Cub, Chili Davis, where I was just like, oh, you know, I might be able to negotiate with this car. You know, didn't get to the price where I would think about really, really strongly think about it. I also saw as what cars I forgot that I need to pick up. But I didn't pick it up because I on eBay there was you know even his low price was I could buy it cheaper on eBay. I need to start spend, uh, spend some money. But um, the Eddie Matthews, um, I'm big Eddie Matthews PC guy. But all of his Venezuelan cards, I need to start picking up. Chris James, the collection Pudge on the back there. Steve Finley and Manny Lee. I think he made one all-star game in 87, I wanted to say. Um, so, well, thanks, thanks for um, coming in. Uh, I got to start mixing this up besides what I pick up on a weekly basis um, and opening a few packs. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, it was a fun show. I always like it. Probably my last show of the year, maybe one more. And then I go into, you know, back into the winter season where I, do, I don't leave the mountains. Anyways... Thanks for tuning in. I know this is longer than I usually do, and I kind of rambled a bit. Um, do appreciate you guys tuning on in. Oh, and that guy who gave me the free stuff, he didn't have any YouTube. He didn't have any Instagram. He didn't have anything but TikTok, and I don't know what the hell TikTok is. So I wasn't able to promote him. Don't think I you know, didn't ask or try to promote him. Nice guy. He didn't have anything at his table that I really wanted to buy. Trust me, I looked. So I just threw him that 20 bucks for the hat. Did I throw to him? Yeah, I gave him 20 bucks for the hat. All right. Till next time, guys. We'll catch you later.